Hey everybody, this is Rich Bracken and I am here with a fail-proof networking tip that you can use at any conference, any networking events, and getting to know other people because it's something that is universal to all of us. And it, whether or not you agree on every single detail, you still have something in common immediately and it's a fun topic to talk about. And that is music. Now recently I've been to several different conferences in various parts of the country with various types of industry people. And the one thing that I always ask when I get to know them a little bit better, because I talk about my passion of music all the time. So I asked them several questions. I'm gonna give these questions to you because I want you to leverage them in your next conversation. And I would love to find out your answers to them as well. First question, what is your favorite band? What is your favorite genre of music? Either question works here. Now I am representing my favorite singer of my favorite band, LeJean Witherspoon. He is the lead singer of my favorite band of all time, Seven Dust. Now, this is a really great icebreaker question because it also walks me into the genre of music that I like that I'm not normally dressed in a t-shirt when I do these, but I'm wearing a suit or a suit jacket. And I talk about my love of heavy metal music. And usually it either surprises people, but it also, if they don't like heavy metal music, there's a conversation piece there. Or I've had instances where I've brought this up and I've had immediate bonding moments with people because they too like heavy metal music. And then it bleeds into, well, tell me about yours. And, and we share stories about those. So what is your favorite band, singer, or music genre? Second, what is your walk-up song? What is a song that gives you instant confidence the minute you hear it? It could be anything. Don't judge what the answer is. Ask more questions about it. What is that song for you? What is it? Why do you like that song? What is about it? What makes you feel? What do you feel during that song? It is a great question to ask because people immediately feel more confident as you're talking about them and you're engaging in conversation with them to make them feel more heard. Have your walk up song ready to respond to them as well. Mine, again, going back into the Seven Dust bucket, is a song called Home by Seven Dust. It is a song that immediately brings me confidence. It's the one I listen to before I give presentations. It is the one that I feel most confident with. So what is your walk-up song? Third, what song brings you immediate joy? What is a song that puts you in a good mood the minute you hear it, the first couple of seconds, the first couple of notes? What is that song for you? That's a great question to ask somebody because again, it evokes the emotion of happiness. My song, Baby I'm a Star by Prince. My favorite song of all time. Close second, September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Both songs bring me an immediate smile to my face, but when you ask that question of someone else, it'll bring, a, it'll bring a smile to their face too. And inevitably, you'll come across someone that will mention a song that is either a guilty pleasure song, maybe it's something that they love singing at karaoke. Ask more questions. Why is that song bring you in a good mood? What, what about that song makes you happy? It's a great icebreaker question that invokes a really positive emotion. Next, what is your first concert or what is your most favorite concert that you've ever been to? Again, from an emotional standpoint, you're taking that person back to a fond memory. It is one that either they go back to the memory of the first concert they ever went to and that's always a great experience. We always feel the power of and the emotion of a concert, of a live concert venue, of the crowd, of the audience, of the interaction with the band or the singer. And it just, it, again, it brings a positive emotion to the conversation. Or you could talk about what is your favorite concert? What's the best concert you've ever been to? They will start talking about the details of the concert. It was not just the music that they liked, but it was the stage, it was the set, it was the dancers, it was something along the lines of the experience. And so we'd start talking about the experience, keep asking questions. What about the dancers? Why were they so special? What were the costumes like? Ask those questions because it, again, it invokes that emotion and that memory that they have of a very positive experience. So as far as my favorite concerts go and my first concert, I got to answer both. My first concert was Air Supply. I was, I think, six or seven years old, so I really didn't have much of a say in whether or not I was gonna go to it, but that was my first concert. Favorite concert? Like a 12-way toss-up. I have a really hard time narrowing this down. Sade, the Lover's Rock Tour, any Seven Dust concert. Uh, recently, I went to see Motionless in White, which is another one of my favorite bands. Phenomenal experience there that I'll share in another video. Uh, but bands like, you know, or, or artists like Justin Timberlake, Pink, Bruno Mars are all fantastic. So I have a really hard time narrowing my favorite one down, but you can see where this all could lead to in another conversation. And this one may be my new favorite one, but it is, do you have a playlist on Spotify or whatever your streaming platform preference is, a playlist that is your favorite? One that just has is chock full of songs that you've either curated or that you've borrowed from Spotify because they build all kinds of different genres and moods. But when you talk about the playlist, what's in that playlist? Why'd you put that there? And, it, and a lot of times our playlists are made of a variety of songs, variety of artists, variety of genres. 
So again, it gives all kinds of opportunities to continue to ask questions, learn more about the individual, to ask why, you know, why do you like that artist? Why do you like that song? What is, what is it about the playlist itself that is really important to you? And would you mind sharing it? I would love to look through it. I have had so many instances lately where we'll whip phones out and start bringing up Spotify and looking at playlists. And as a matter of fact, I had a great conversation with a brand new friend of mine where we exchanged our playlists. We looked at each other's phones, we scrolled through the playlist, and I kept saying, oh my gosh, I didn't know you liked this song too. Oh my gosh, this is great. I didn't realize that anybody else knew this band. And so that in and of itself is a bonding moment. So all of those questions are fun, they're easy to ask, Everybody will have an answer to them or it'll, it'll bring about a really good opportunity to invoke some questions and invoke some emotion in the conversation, but it is something that bonds us all. Music is truly something that bonds us all. So find a way to work these into the conversations. Put it right after asking who they are, what company they work with, where they're from, immediately get it in. Say just, I, I have this question I gotta ask you while I'm thinking about it. I was listening to some music earlier and I always think about these kinds of things and then pick one or all of these questions. It is so simple, and it brings about this positive connection, positive emotion, and great conversation topics that you can launch into more of a friendship versus just a working relationship trying to figure out who needs what from who. Now, as a former DJ who has just recently unretired, one of my favorite things of all time is building playlists or mixtapes as we used to call them back in the day around different moods, themes, whatever you need, different genres. And so I have all kinds of playlists on my Spotify account, which I'll drop a link in the comments so you can make sure you follow me on there. And you can absolutely use any of my playlists, borrow any of the songs, whatever you need to do. The ones I use the most, I have a workout playlist that I use nearly every single day. Um, now it is very heavy metal based, but it's also got some electronica, some hip hop. So a lot of really good blood pumping songs. I have an instant good mood playlist, which is songs, it's songs that are just, you know, like the Prince and, and Earth, Wind and Fire, like they're immediate good mood songs, something that just puts me in a good mood right away. And then I also have things like relaxation and meditation playlists that really help me get balanced if I'm doing some work or I'm trying to figure out a problem. So all kinds of different ones, but I would say the workout playlist and the instant good mood playlist are the two favorites. So now that you have this new networking tip, I wanna hear what yours are. I wanna see them in the comments. I wanna start a conversation, maybe even build our own playlist or mixtape as I'm gonna go ahead and call it through the comments and the things that you submit. So what is your favorite band or music genre? What is your instant confidence walk-up song? What is your instant good mood song? What is your first or favorite concert? And do you have a Spotify playlist or another playlist that you wanna share that is your favorite playlist that you listen to all the time? Drop those in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Let's have fun. Let's, let's become a bunch of DJs together. So enjoy this at your next networking event. And I guarantee you, you're gonna break the ice a lot faster and bond a better relationship and a better friendship right out of the gate.